Tutorial number three, body shape. Anatomy is destiny. So wrote the famous psychiatrist, Sigmund Freud. This tutorial will cover several basic body measurements. Performing these measurements is very easy and requires nothing more than a tape measure and a friend to back up your observations. The first will allow you to classify your body shape as belonging to one of three basic body types called somatotypes. Body types are composed of different ratios of three types of embryonic tissue. These three basic tissue types comprise the germ layers of the embryo. Ectoderm tissue forms the nervous system, skin, hair, mammary glands, and pigment and connective tissue. Mesoderm tissue forms the muscles, the skeleton, the kidneys, heart, blood cells, and arteries. Endoderm tissue forms the digestive organs, most of the glands of the body, the lungs, and the intestines. Somatotypes are named after their predominant tissue type. Here are some guidelines for determining your type. Ectomorphs typically have an abundance of ectoderm tissue and are usually lanky and smaller framed. Mesomorphs typically have an abundance of mesoderm tissue and are usually muscular and medium to large framed. Endomorphs typically have an abundance of endoderm tissue and are usually rounded and larger framed. Endomorphs tend to look a bit padded even when they are not overweight. Many people are actually a blending of two somatotypes. The most common combinations are the mesoendomorph with a somewhat rounded and muscular physique and the mesoectomorph with a lanky and somewhat muscular physique. Sometimes it is difficult for us to be objective about ourselves, so you may want to check your results with a friend as they may be more objective about how you see yourself. If you are unclear about which body type best describes you, try this simple test. Circle your wrist with the thumb and middle finger of your other hand. What do you notice? If your middle finger and thumb do not touch, you are large framed and most likely an endomorph. If your middle finger and thumb just touch, you are almost certainly a mesomorph. If your middle finger and thumb overlap, you are small framed and most likely an ectomorph. Once you've determined your body type, enter your information on worksheet three of the online genotype calculator. For more information regarding the significance of body types, refer to pages 76 through 77 of the Genotype Diet book. Waist to hip ratio. The waist to hip ratio, which compares the measurement of your abdomen at the waist to the measurement of your hips, is a good indication of biological health. The waist to hip ratio indicates the risk for heart disease in both men and women, and it reveals quite a bit about your health and your metabolism. In order to take your waist to hip ratio, you will need a soft measuring tape and the assistance of a friend. First, wrap the soft tape measure around your waist 
at its narrowest point, just above the belly button. Make sure the tape measure is level all the way around your body and parallel to the floor. The tape measure should be snug, but not tight. Try for accuracy of within 10 millimeters or 1 eighth of an inch. Record your result on Worksheet 3 of the Online Genotype Calculator. For your hips, choose the widest part of your hip bones and wrap the measuring tape around yourself, remembering that it should be snug but not tight. Make sure the tape measure is level all the way around your body and parallel to the floor. Record your results on the worksheet. The calculator will determine your waist to hip ratio. For more information regarding the significance of waist to hip ratio, refer to page 49 of the Genotype Diet Book.